Okay guys, so here I am again. I have a filament review for you. This week we have the new Star Wars movie coming out, Solo, and I thought in honor of that I would do some awesome printing with this awesome, <laughs> this is the uh, Porg, and uh, this was printed using this awesome new filament. I'm using awesome a lot, I'm sorry. This is the Polyalchemy Elixir. I got this from my favorite vendor, PrintedSolid.com. I bought it in 2.85 so I could do it on the Ultimaker and I bought the 1.75 from my other printers and I wanted to show you some of the results I've had with it. It is just really, really amazing stuff. So here we go. Hey YouTube, I'm back. Welcome to Weird Nerdy is Cool. This, as you know, is my channel where we cover all things that I find interesting and nerdy. I got a ton of hobbies, the R2-D2 build, BB-8, 3D printing, you name it, it's all here. So, welcome back. Well, let me start with, my name is Paul, and if this is your first time here, welcome. If you're a regular, welcome back. And to everyone, if you're not already a subscriber, please mash that button and become a subscriber. You don't want to miss any of my cool videos. So, that said, let me tell you about the story of Polyalchemy Elixir. Now, this is a PLA. And we're working on a Cheshire Cat build. Um, this is one of the things that Christina wants to uh, print, and she's been printing a lot of pieces out lately. And we reached out to Matt over at Printed Solid and said, look, we're looking for pink, and we're looking for purple uh, in order to do this project. What do you recommend for manufacturers of you know, PLA that uh, would have the right colors that would really stand out for, for this project? And he said, check this stuff out. So we checked it out on the website, and of course, on the web page, it's really hard to tell, you know, how good it looks. But when we received it and we looked at the filament, we were like, "Whoa!" Uh, did a couple of test prints with a couple of small prints, and uh, we were like, "Wow!" And uh, it's very shiny stuff. Um, we're printing at 0.2 millimeter, so it's really uh, you'd expect to see the layer lines really, really easy on prints like this. But no, that's not the case at all. I mean, it's coming out beautiful. So really impressed with this stuff. Now let me tell you about the print um, settings that I've been using. Um, I bought the 1.75 millimeter, and that's going to go into my CR10s and my uh, uh, Tivo Tornado and uh, the FT5, one that that's ever revived. <laughs> uh, and then I bought the 2.85 for the Ultimaker. Um, I've been using Cura, and I, I also have Simplify 3D. I find that when I'm doing a lot of experimental new things with filaments in the Ultimaker, I like to use Cura. Uh, my thinking is that, well, Ultimaker knows their printer better than anyone, so that's why I like Cura so much for the Ultimaker, but that's a different video. So anyway, that said, I started out using the Ultimaker PLA uh, profile as far as the temperature settings and retraction and everything else uh, for this filament, and that was really, really close. Um, here's the changes I've made. I have found that if I do the first layer at 210, uh, I get a really nice even layer. Uh, I, lower the temperature down to 200 for everything after layer one and uh, the retraction I've increased the distance by a tenth of a millimeter so you know it's a little ad additional distance that it pulls back in. Let me tell you something really interesting about the way this stuff extrudes though. Um, as you'll see uh, when you first you know uh, extrude this out of the hot end it kind of does like the inchworm thing. It's the weirdest thing you've ever seen and you know, if you've been printing for a while and you see this, your first thing you think is, I must have a nozzle blockage or a par partial clog or something. I gotta get this stuff out of here and find out what's going on. And I did that. I took the filament out. Uh, I did what's called the atomic poles. Uh, essentially what you're doing is you're removing the bowden and you're forcing filament into the hot end while it's all heated up. You let it cool to 100 degrees Celsius and you yank that filament back out and it clears the residue out of the nozzle. And nope, no issues. That per perfectly clean nozzle. That's just the way this stuff prints. That's just the way this stuff extrudes, rather. So it's it's really weird. Um, but as you'll see in the, a couple of the prints I, I show you here, uh, once it does that first layer, I mean, it just goes on really, really smooth. And again, as I mentioned, you know, the one thing I did was lowering the temperature and then in addition to the retraction. The retractions are gonna be kind of hit or miss on. I found that if I didn't do that, I suffered with the overhangs a little bit. Uh, and especially with supports on the first layer. The pork had an extensive amount of uh, supports, so I found that the, uh, the brim made a huge difference right there. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the channel and I hope you're enjoying the video today. If you wish to support me on Patreon, I have a Patreon page. That is patreon.com forward slash where nerdy is cool. 
If you wish to support me via a PayPal donation, I also have a link on the YouTube homepage. Uh, it's up here in the uh, right hand corner where it says donate via PayPal. I appreciate whatever support you wish to give me. Thanks for watching. As I mentioned, this stuff is a PLA. Uh, it has a print range of 200 to 220, and if you've been doing enough 3D printing, you know that that's as good a guess as you're going to get. So, uh, depending on your printer, depending on your hot end, how well everything's calibrated, your temperatures uh, may vary. But that's what I use for the results I got. So, uh, you know, feel free to experiment away. Now, the cost for this stuff, it's not terrible, okay? I, I've had a lot of people, I posted a lot of really excellent pictures on Instagram and on Facebook, and people were asking, well, what, what, what are you printing? Is it a copolymer? Is it an ABS? Is it some form of InGen? What do you got? Nope, it's, it's PLA. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, they sell it, uh, this is a 750 gram spool, and uh, this sells for uh, $34.99 uh, at printedsolid.com. They have it both at 1.75 and 2.85. So yeah, if you're looking to get some really amazing prints with this stuff, and it's just so shiny, you don't see the layer lines, it's, it's just, every now and then you run across a filament like this that just makes everything look amazing that you print. So it's definitely worth a try if you ask me. So usually I would do a much longer runtime with a filament before doing any kind of review, but I have gone through an entire spool of my Purple Rain, which is what this stuff is, uh, we're going to start working with the bubblegum pink here shortly, but I have had such awesome feedback from the stuff that I've posted, for the stuff that I've printed, I wanted to share that with you guys. And plus, I'll spoil you guys with two videos in a week, so how about that? So, it's definitely impressive stuff. If you can get it, talk to the guys at printasolid.com. Um, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. We're certainly on the up and up. I noticed that subscriber count is getting closer and closer to a thousand. We still have a ways to go, but I think we're getting there. And the views are way up too, so I, I am flattered that you guys are watching me. I appreciate the comments you leave in the comment section below. Many of you guys have offered suggestions on what I should do, you know, reviews on, or what I should cover for a topic next. Bring them on, I, I'm, I'm open, I, I, I love your suggestions. So that said, I thank you guys for watching me. I thank you guys for offering the feedback. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm having a good time doing this stuff. So anyway, that is the video for now. I thank you guys for watching and remember, this is where nerdy is cool.